Do I need bioidentical hormones? I'm Dr. Jen, double boarded OB-GYN in integrative medicine, a menopause hormone expert. I want to talk about bioidentical hormones, just the term really, not about the specific hormones because I have a whole video on doctor's guide to hormone replacement therapy and there I talk about the individual hormones. But the term bioidentical hormones is really a marketing term. And it often gets very confusing for patients because they'll come to me and say, I only want bioidentical hormones and therefore I need to see a compounding pharmacy. And actually there are FDA approved bioidentical hormones, the Vibel Dot, Chimera, Prometrium. Those are all FDA approved medications that can be sent to Walgreens or Walmart or wherever. And those are bioidentical hormones. Now, a lot of Obviously, all compounding is a bioidentical hormone because they are literally making what you ask. So with a physician writes a prescription, they are making a formulation that is bioidentical. I should say, wait, the caveat, I guess, is you could theoretically make it non-bioidentical, but majority do. So bioidentical just means that the hormones that you're getting are identical to what is in your body. So if you're trying to replace estradiol, then you're giving the patient estradiol. So for example, if I want estradiol because I'm in menopause, then I need to be given a prescription. It should say on there estradiol patch or estradiol tablets. And that's how I know it's actually bioidentical. And it doesn't say ethanyl estradiol or conjugated equine estrogen. That's, those are non-bioidentical. So if you look on your prescription, either the bottle or the box or whatever it is, and it says literally the hormone that you want to replace, estradiol, progesterone, testosterone, then you are getting a bioidentical hormone because that is what is present in our body. So the term bioidentical is just sort of more of a marketing term because it doesn't signify if it's an FDA approved medication or if it's a compounding medication because you can be on either side um, and be bioidentical. Most women prefer bioidentical hormones because when you look at sort of the studies on hormone replacement therapy, some of the big flaws in the Women's Health Initiative was because it was using synthetic or conjugated equine estrogens, which is actually from horse urine. And so the risks that have been reported 24 years later are really related to the synthetic properties of those medications. And so women will often say, I want bioidenticals because I want to avoid those risks. I will say that hormone replacement therapy, even bioidentical has risks. So it's not 100% that you're avoiding risks of blood clots or stroke or cancer. That's incorrect, but there are some Studies that look at safety related to more bioidentical than essentially like conjugated equine estrogen. Bioidentical just means that you are replacing what's in your body and it is identical to what has been missing. So it could be FDA approved and it could be compounding. Hope this makes more sense for you. If you have questions specifically about that, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and I will provide more videos.